Brother. Brother! Welcome everyone to another episode of J vs. Ben, where today we get back to black, aka serious black. Hoo-wee! This is going to be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. I, I thought I knew a lot about Lupin, and then I was shocked at how little I knew about Lupin. I didn't know how much there was to know about Lupin, so I'm I yes. prepared to be shocked about how much there is to know about Sirius that I just didn't know as well. Before we get started, I just want to say I'm super excited. We got our brand new Patreon pins in today. So cool! Oh, man. So, yeah, if you are a $25 level on our Patreon, you will get access to both of these pins. Typically, we just do one This time you're getting two. You have until, I think, July to sign up for that. It only made sense to go with two this time. Yeah, because because there's like both of our faces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, also, even if you don't want to do that level, $3 to get you into our Discord server, and that's where it's at. That is where it is at. It is like where the Super Carlin Brothers community now lives. So be sure to go and check it out. Yes, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future J vs. Ben videos. But let's get into it. Let's do it. going to include a link to the quiz from Pottermore in the description down below if you want to click and play along with us. The only difference will be that Ben and I are answering from memory, whereas you guys will have the multiple choice. But if we both decide that we don't know, we can choose to get the multiple choice. Right, right. So sometimes it becomes like one of those weird strategy games where it's like, I think I know the answer, but I don't totally know, and if I get it... It's like you can get confirmation, but then maybe the other person is going to get it. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So, here we go. Here we go. Derek, how many questions do we have today? We have 30. 30, 30, 30 questions. questions. You know, this, this amount used to used to throw me off. I was like, that's so many. But now, now I'm just mentally prepared. Now you're just used to like it. Like someone who spent 12 years in Azkaban. It's 12. 12? 13. 12. Now we don't know. Maybe I'll throw a new after game. <laughs> Let's go. First question. Question one. In which book is Sirius Black first mentioned? Three, two, one. The Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone. Stone. Either way. Yeah, it's like the first page almost. Man. That's a tr- th- this, that first question, though, makes me super nervous that this is going to be a very tricky quiz. That's a trick question. That, that is a trick question because yeah. like it's basically like that Hagrid's on his bike. Yes, that's it. That's it. Young Sirius Black lent it to me. Yeah. Question two. How many years did Sirius spend... In Azkaban. Three, two, one. Thirteen. Twelve. The correct answer is twelve. Oh my god, you totally... <laughs> oh, you just psyched me out just now. No way, I, really? Because I said twelve. Like, obviously it's twelve. And you're like, twelve, thirteen. Twelve, thirteen. Oh my god, I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. If, I was if like, anything, I thought you were screwing with me, and I almost put thirteen. <laughs> uh, I'm so mad that I... Oh my gosh. I'm okay. sorry. Sorry, sorry. That was... I swear it wasn't on purpose. I'm mad at myself. I should have just trusted my gut. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, man. All right. Question three. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, who asked Harry to promise he wouldn't go looking for Sirius? Three, two, one. Mr. Weasley. Arthur Weasley. Yeah. Why would I go looking for someone? Because, because you're constantly getting in trouble, that's why. <laughs> because you're going to find out that he's the one who betrayed your parents, but not really. Question four. Why was Sirius blasted off the Black Family Tapestry? Got a lot to say here. Yeah, I know. This is... I, I don't know if this is going to be exactly right. I, I think that it's I true. I feel like I'm going to take it, whatever. All right. Well, we'll see. All right. All right. Three, two, one. I so said he, sorted into Gryffindor slash was against family values. Yeah, I said he left the family home uh, for not agreeing with ideals. I think I actually have to give it to Ben because the correct answer is he ran away and he left the family home. <sighs> which Fine. you didn't include in your answer. Fine. Fine. Man, I'm off to a bad start today. See, Man, so I I'm wasn't off to sure. A bad start. I wasn't sure if he left the family home, like, be- which came first, the chicken or the egg type of thing. Yeah. You know? if, or like if they, like, banished him sort of thing. And then right. that's why, like, that or, or they didn't like that man. he was against their values, so then he ran away. Or, yes. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right. Question five. Who did Sirius say was the most intelligent of his kind I've ever met? What is his kind? I know. I think I have a good, I think I have a guess. I feel like I would have a guess if it if that's not how if it wasn't of his kind. Right. <gasps> nope. Nope. I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Dang it. 
<laughs> Dang it. Okay. Now I got it. Okay. 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 I yeah. shot the dark. Three, two, one. Crookshanks. The oh, correct it, answer it is, is Crookshanks. Crookshanks. Oh, man. So my oh, first thought was, as soon as, my first thought was, yes, Lupin. And then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. Because he wouldn't, he wouldn't be like saying things like that about Lupin. And then I thought it was Buckbeak. And I was like, who else could it even be? <laughs> Yeah, and then, I, then it just clicked into place for me. Ah, man. And now, and now I remember it clear as day. Oh, okay. All right, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Question six. Let's just keep moving. Question six. In what year was Sirius arrested? In what year was Sirius arrested? Ooh, 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 ooh. No. I am. Okay, it just depends. I always forget what year Harry was born. Okay. Three, two, one. 1981. 1981 is correct. Boom! I, nice. thought I, I initially put down the year he escaped. <laughs> ah. I was like, 92? No, the the Harry like, Potter years are constantly perplexing because the time frame in which they came out are so offset from the time period in which they were intended to be written. Right. Which, like, screws so much. It's, with it's the way very dark. Because, like, you, you open... When you're reading it, it's in the 90s, but for it to work, Harry had to be born in, like, 1980. Right, right. Yeah. So Harry's, like, like older than us, which right. is... But I grew up with him being the same age as me. Exactly. It's <laughs> unusual. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, this is question seven. What was the name of Sirius Black's mother? Oh, my God. For a split second, it ran clean out of my mind. <laughs> Three, two, one. Walburga. Walburga Black. Man, only because we've done so many stupid so videos. So many about videos. This. Yes. Oh my Walburga. gosh. That's something I know I should not know. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, for sure. That's that's something that we know because of the theories. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Because the Knights of Walpurgis. Yes. Whole video. Question eight. What creature was Harry reminded of when he first saw a picture of Sirius? At this point, he would just think he was. A muggle convict. Right, because it's on the news. Because it's on the news. I don't, yeah. I mean, I guess he probably saw a picture of him when Hagrid gives him the family album, but he doesn't realize that's him, so I don't, same think, that's, I don't think that counts. Do you want to get multiple choice? Uh, I guess. Okay, let's Since do it. One's going to say a dog, though, and you're going to be like, ooh, who's a dog? The answers are a Dementor, an Enfiri, a werewolf or a vampire? Three, two, one. Vampire. 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 Pretty much had because he wouldn't have seen any of those other things yet. Right, right. That's that, that's one where the multiple choice made it easier. It is. It is. Question nine. Apart from Padfoot, what other nickname did Sirius go by? Three, two, one. Schnuffles. Schnuffles. <laughs> See, I think I felt the same way in the Lupin quiz, where like we started strong, and then I think the tail end of it just got real hard. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we're getting through all the ones that I think I knew they were going to ask. Right. What are, what's left? we got 20 questions left. <laughs> oh. Question 10. To whom was Sirius referring to when he said, If you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. Pretty sure I got this. I know I know when he says it, which is making me wonder if it's... Yeah. There's yeah, like a handful of people that this could be. It's... Uh, there's like two popped in my mind, but one I'm pretty sure of. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I don't feel great about it, but I'll turn. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. Barty Crouch. Barty Crouch. Yeah. Senior. Senior. But I'll give it to you. Yeah. He's well, still named Barty Crouch. I would have been. I would, who else were you thinking? Uh, well, I feel like Voldemort would be one mm. where he doesn't treat the people below him that well. Um, yeah. And I'll, alternatively, maybe like Karkaroff or something. Uh, I was thinking Mal Lucius Malfoy, but it seems like. Harry, there's, he wouldn't have said that before Harry already knew that about him. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Yeah. Question 11. According to the Quibbler, what was Sirius Black's real name? Oh, no. This is, uh... Uh... It's never gonna come to me. It is never gonna come to me. I would do multiple choice for this one. Okay, we can do multiple okay. choice, because I'm like... Serious black. Okay. <laughs> the answers are Stanley Pringle, Stubby Boardman, Sturgis Podmore, Stanford Burble. All right, three, two, one. B? Stubbs. 
Stubby Boardman is correct. Is yeah! Like a, I thought, because, well, Sturgis Podbor is like an actual person. Right, and yeah. Pringle is like, who, how would you not remember because that? Because I was, is this, they're calling him a singing sensation, I think. Question 12. In which year at Hogwarts did Sirius become an Animagus? Oh, you know. Oh, I know. Mmm! So, okay. No, okay. Hold on. I got it. I got it! I'm ready. I'm ready, I I'm, think. I'm torn between when it would be conceivable that he could be... Uh-huh. ...come one, versus when I know it is... <laughs> you were just gloating! <laughs> I think I'm still losing. So I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be. I should maybe be wrong. <laughs> I'm just going by what makes sense. Did you go with eight? You're That's eight. not... Even an answer you can choose. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so obviously, same year as Lupin. It's the same year at Hogwarts as Lupin. Right. And the Whomping Willow would be planted Lupin's first year. It's not asking for a year number. It's what school you, like, yeah, one through seven. Which no, you, I understand. Yeah. I understand. I know. I, I'm trying to figure out, like, so how early on would the team have started working on this? Like, what is the indicator that would... There, there's, one, there's one clue about this that I'll tell you after. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, I'm just gonna... Three, two, one. Third, Third year? The correct answer is the fifth year. No, it is not. That is incorrect. Because it takes Wormtail until the fifth year to do it, but James and Sirius figure it out earlier. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's interesting. wrong. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Well, we we both answered it the same way, so it doesn't really make a it difference. It doesn't. I just want it to be known. I'm pretty sure that's a problem. <laughs> they say, like, it took Wormtail longer to figure... It took okay, until okay. the fifth year until all of them could do it. Hold on. So, like, let's call out the quiz. We're going to find the text, and we'll put it on screen mm. right here. So you guys know whether or not we're right, and we don't. But look, we're so right. You can tell. Look at it. Right, right there. there. Right there. Mm. Ha! It's going to be really funny if we were wrong. <laughs> we're pointing out the wrong thing. Do you remember that, though, now that I'm saying it? I, my mind was going more from the direction of, um, I did not think that a first or second year could do it. Um, but I knew that the Shrieking Shack is, like, the Whomping Willow was planted, so they had access to the Shrieking Shack. So, like, that's something that would have been happening since Remus started going to school. Right. So, like, at what point could you, could you mark that as possible? Now? I'm, I'm almost per certain... They say James and Sirius figured it out, and it took Wormtail two more years, but in their fifth year, they were all able to transform into animals. That does sound right. Right. That does sound right. Okay, so we're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Either way, we're, it keeps us at the exact same point. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Whatever. Okay. Question 13. Who once described Sirius as a nasty, ungrateful swine who broke his mother's heart? Three, two, one. Creature. Creature. Yeah. Creature. I like Creature as a character. Me too. I think he's fascinating. He's I, I love his, his, like, the whole character arc. Like, uh -huh. uh, they completely yeah. turns around and is like, I'm going to make hairy food. Yes, yeah. I know. And it's, like, such good food, too. I'm like, oh, my gosh. How, oh, how soup. Like, all things considered, yeah, like, the entire process that they go through and how hungry they constantly are, thinking about how Creature made them really tasty food is, like, that's not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. Question 14. In which chapter of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban did Harry find out that Sirius was after him? Like the name of the chapter or the chapter number? Uh, either or both will be acceptable. I, I have a guess. I don't know the chapter name. I just the chapter number. Oh, man. Got. Really? Yeah. Holy cow. That's I never 17. noticed. I, I, have a, I, can, I can write in parentheses what I think the name of the chapter is. Okay, then we're going to get multiple. Yeah, sure. All right, let's go multiple. The answers are Chapter 3, The Knight Bus, Chapter 4, The Leaky Cauldron, Chapter 5, The Dementor, and Chapter 6, Talons and Tea Leaves. I'm going to let you all see that I didn't write anything down after Derek wrote the answers. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Chapter 4, The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. Kaboom! Ooh. Did you get it right? I did. I did. Man, Okay. But that was my guess and title, chapter title, before Derek told us. Dang! Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. 
I was trying to think of like even when Sirius comes and like raids the uh, dormitory. Harry overhears Arthur and Molly arguing about whether or not they should tell Harry. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Question fifteen: Who was Sirius Black's brother? Three. Two, one. Regulus Arcturus Black. Regulus Arcturus Black. I feel like that's a pretty, that's a good one. That's, that's, that one's not bad. That's like a huge plot. I mean. That's like the, that's like the first ever fan theory that anybody ever told me <clears throat> was a couple of our friends had figured out who R.A.B. was. Yeah. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. I even yeah. remember where I was when somebody told it to me. Really? Yeah. Man. Early on. I know. You were like, hmm. 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 If you examine things, things, you might be able to figure things out. Yeah. <laughs> Question 16. When he wasn't using owls, how did Sirius deliver letters to Harry? Is it is it is this a is it generic of birds or is it generic? Generic or specific? Uh it is generic. Okay. I think I have a guess the, of the specific down below, but mm. the circled one will be my answer. Cool. Three, two, one. Tropical birds. Uh, tropical birds is correct. And I kind of, in my head, I've always pictured a macaw myself. Macaw. I said parrot, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's what I had written down before we changed. Lucky smudges. <laughs> Make it right. It's literally right there. <laughs> I can see it. No, I don't. I want the lucky smudges. Okay, yeah, no, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it. lucky smudges. He wants the Making smudges sure. there. The smudges. All right. yeah, I keep them right here on the table. <laughs> <I'm trying> to... <laughs> Question 17. What relation is Draco Malfoy to Sirius Black? Oh, interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me do some okay. treating here. I actually had to think about what this person in my life would be in order to know <laughs> what I call them. Right? Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Second cousin? Second cousin. The correct answer is first cousin once removed. That is incorrect. It's second cousin. I think it is second cousin. <laughs> it's your it's, parents' cousin. It's, it's the... That had nothing to do with. <laughs> we knew that question how they were, he was related. Right. Yeah. Not just, with the title, what it was called. Yeah. Right. The point is, we knew that it was his cousin's son. Right. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Question 18 Who first suspected Harry's firebolt was sent by Sirius? Three, two, one. Hermione Granger. Hermione. That Hermione Granger. <laughs> is that a very Potter musical quote? Yes. Actually, it was me quoting you, quoting a very Potter musical, because I haven't watched it, but I do like the quote. How great is Draco Malfoy in a very Potter musical? Question 19. Who first told Harry the Dementors had been authorized to give Sirius the kiss? Hmm. I feel like you didn't write enough letters. We'll see. Three, two, one. Snape? Dumbledore. Remus Lupin is the correct answer. Oh, I did write there a perfect number of letters. I was thinking after Harry is in the hospital wing. Yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. I was thinking Snape does it after he like reveals himself and he's like, ah, the Dementors have a kiss for your friend. That's how uh, Snape talks in my mind. Yeah, that's, that's exactly how he talks. I'm, yeah. <laughs> no need for clarification. Okay. I, I totally had it. Yeah, good. Question 20. Question 20. While talking in the fire at Gryffindor Tower, who did Sirius name as a Death Eater? Three, two, one. Karkaroff. Igor Karkaroff. Igor. Couldn't remember if it was Karkarov or Karkaroff. Ah, rough. So I put a V on the bottom. Sure. Just, <laughs> sure. You know. You never know. You never know. Question 21. Who complimented Harry's nice dog on platform nine and three quarters? Jay, for that whole thing, I'm just going to like close up on you as you're <laughs> writing yeah. without looking. Yeah. Were you looking at me? No, he was just, just there. <laughs> just like maintaining eye contact with me. Okay. Three, two, one. Draco Malfoy. The correct answer is Lee Jordan. That is terrible. <laughs> Man, you seem so confident. That so well, confident. Because Harry gets all bent out of shape about... Maybe the Malfoys realized that Sirius was a dog. Uh, man, man, now it just looked foolish. That's no. okay. That's okay. Lee Jordan. Nice dog, Harry. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I, I thought was, it was like Draco telling him. I don't know who that is. There was, yeah, there's like, in the movie, I think Moody makes a comment mm -hmm. about 
serious being there or something. And I was trying to remember if, like, the movie played it differently than the book, than the book um, where, like, Moody in the movie's like, what are you doing? Why you shouldn't be here? And solid Moody. Thanks. You know, I've been working on it. Yeah. It's pretty much all I do. It's, my, it's like my hobby. Yeah? You got a cosplay going? In my bio on Instagram, it should say, I do nothing but practice my Matt Eye Moody impersonation. <laughs> Great. Question 22. <laughs> Select all that apply. Who of the following were in Azkaban at the same time as Sirius? Mrs. Crouch, Percival Dumbledore, Antonin Dolohov, Rodolphus Lestrange, Marvolo Gaunt, Rubius Hagrid. It's a couple I don't know the timing of. I know, that's exactly the problem, I know. These are good. I got those. Oh my gosh, I just, I don't, I don't, I'm sure this is, okay, I'm just, yeah, this is a weird one. This is a weird one. All right, you want to you want to reveal? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Okay. I have, have Dollhoff, Rodolphus, uh, Rodolphus and Hagrid. Hagrid. Yes. And then I do not remember how far in the past Mrs. Crouch switches with her son. I know. That's I what I, that I can't. Either. I'm trying to think when Birth of Jorkings goes missing. That's four. You know, that's that's at the beginning of four, but it's at the beginning of three. But Sirius has been out since the beginning of three. Right. So, so unless he was in there for like two years. But like he was with his father in how the wrong house for a while. Mrs. Crouch did share time uh, with Sirius Black. Oh this is the last one I no. marked off. Is yeah. everything else accurate? Everything else is accurate. Rodolfo, uh, uh, that is Hagrid, really hard, and Dolohoff. Man, yeah, because that's not like, it's not a marker point. Like it's such yeah. a, it's even like such a way after the fact explanation that's mm -hmm. given. It's like, I know... Does Sirius mention Barty Crouch being in there with him at some point? I mean, he would have been. I know there. he would have been in there, but like, does he mention oh, Crouch coming saying. to visit? Ah, uh, maybe he does. Crap. Oh well, man. I'm pretty sure he does. Now that I think about it, it makes me feel better when we miss it for the same reason. Yeah, we miss it. We've been stuck on the same thing every single time. Question twenty three: What was the name of the uncle who left Sirius gold? Oh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Do you want to go multiple choice? Sure. Okay. Let's go multiple choice with it. All right. All right. Sorry, the, Derek. You no, know, that's fine. The answers are Pollux, Cygnus, Arcturus, and Alphard. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Alphard. The correct answer is Alphard. Woo! I knew it once I heard it. Dang it. I didn't know it at all. Yeah. I had Arcturus written down ahead of time, and I was like, I don't... Could they, could they have two people in the family name that? But. You know, I I was thinking that Sirius wasn't the first of his name. Oh. And so I was thinking, like, oh, I bet it's Sirius Black. Oh. So, it's like, serious. yeah. Mm. And it would be interesting if, like, his uncle left the gold to, like, his nephew. Right. With his shared name. Yeah. Like, that can make sense. But it was Alphard. It was Alphard, yeah, the whole time. Yeah. No, oh, I, I do remember it now. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Dang it! And just move some notes around on his memory desk. <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's there! Turns out. Uh, I think literally the first time I ever heard it, I was like, ha, Alphard. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uncle Alphard. Okay. All right, question 24. While in charge of the Ministry's investigation, where did Kingsley Shacklebolt claim Sirius was hiding? See, this is what happens with these quizzes. They, like, lull you into this belief. That you have any idea. That, that you're doing well, and then you get to, like, the last ten, and it's like, Is there what? impossible? Do you have an answer? I have a guess. It's just, I don't know. I'm tired of thinking the multiple choices, and I don't feel like you know it anyway. Nope, I sure don't. <laughs> Three, two, one. Egypt? Albania. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is Tibet. Tibet. Yeah, I bet it is. Uh, Tibet it is. Ha! That's what you did there. It was a play yes. on words. It was. It was a play on words. 25. What good luck token did Harry receive from Sirius before the third Triwizard task? I'm going to go. I would go multiple, multiple choice. choice. I have no it. idea. Yeah. I've never. What? I wonder. I wonder if it's going to be a super it's obvious. Like we'll see. All right. The answers are a chocolate frog wrapper with the letter S scratched on the back, a hippogriff feather, a chicken bone tied with a piece of black string, a folded piece of parchment with a muddy paw print. I will tell you that one of those is is what my guess was going to be. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, did, I have no recollection of any of this. This is unheard of. I don't even think that it's my answer, but... <laughs> All right. You have an answer? Oh, 
No. <laughs> no. Before the third task. Before the third task. So this is the fourth book. Fourth book. Pre post Lake pre maze. Post Lake pre maze pre Voldemort's return. Yep. So it's not like Molly could have brought this with her. You just had to have received it. From a tropical bird? From a tropical bird or an owl or something. Uh, maybe I am going to change my answer. I'm just talking about it into the answer. Who knows? I have, I just, I can, only be, I can only think of two of those that would even make sense. Okay, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. What's that hippogriff feather? Feather. The correct answer is a folded piece of parchment that with a muddy other guess. paw print. That's literally, I had that circled one. and then what I was, was like. Other one. Uh, uh, the, so you thought Molly brought it to him. Um, I throw you off the scent. I'm doing so bad. No, I thought I thought a feather was something that could come per, uh, from an owl. That's yeah. what I was gonna put. Was the that was my original oh, guess? Oh, interesting. Was a feather, and then I switched it to the muddy paw print, and then I switched it again. I don't remember <gasps> that at all, and I've read that book so many times. So many times. So many all right. times. Let's carry on. All right. Question twenty six. What number was Sirius Black's? Vault number at Gringotts. Oh, I hate these! <laughs> this is terrible! I feel like you should know if these are coming. <laughs> but, like, uh, how do you prepare? Are we allowed to prepare for this? Yes. Do you prepare for these? No! <laughs> I mean, other than reading the books. <laughs> okay. I started okay. preparing at Angel 11. <laughs> yeah, I've been preparing my whole life, Ben. Um, uh,. Multiple choice? Is it gonna help? It's just gonna be a bunch of numbers. It's just that gonna be helpful. a bunch. Of, I think. I think. What if we? What if we play it like this? Whoever gets closer. Whoever is closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, because if we go multiple choice, it's just. A it's guess. just stupid. Seriously, I don't. Know. When do they visit it? I don't even. No. Do you remember name. when they visit Sirius? No, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. You want to put three numbers down? Ten numbers? One number? <laughs> I'll put... I don't know! There's just gotta be a really deep vault, you know? It's gotta be deep, but like, I don't that think doesn't it's help as, me. That it's doesn't not really as deep much. as Bellatrix's, I don't think. I don't think so, but... It's gotta be deep. But I don't know if hers is a high number or a low number then. Is being deeper make you higher or lower? Is like Vault 1, like, right at the surface, or is that like, oh, yeah, the first one they built? Oh, interesting, interesting. You know? huh. To confirm, we're going whoever gets closer. Whoever gets closer. Whoever gets right, closer. do it. That's how we're doing this, because we're definitely not going to get it Three, right. Three, two, one. Five hundred and one. Six hundred and thirteen. The correct answer is seven hundred and eleven, and Ben gets the point. Are you kidding? It's like, two over from the Sorcerer's Stone Vault, is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I'm so mad. I hate. I hate I that hate question. That they, that they put those that on is there. Seven hundred and eleven. Uh, who knows that? I don't know. Maybe maybe people would be like, yeah, because like Sirius is the kind of guy who wants like roller grill taquitos. <laughs> Did anybody get that? It's a Muggle thing. It's a Muggle thing. It's, it's a, a it's a Seven Eleven reference. Seven Eleven reference. How thing. great are roller grills, though? I mean, don't even get me started on how just like perfectly cooked the hot dog is when it just rolls over the heat. This quiz. <laughs> You're not bonding over hot dogs with me. I like hot dogs. <laughs> Jay likes hot dogs. All right, question twenty-seven. What was Hannah Abbott's theory about how Black broke into Hogwarts? Hannah Abbott, you know. That key character. <laughs> regular. Series regular. Everything you need to know about Hannah Abbott. How weirdly involved she is with everything. Oh, I think every oh. quiz has had a Hannah Abbott question. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you just gotta read up on that fact file. This should, this should just gonna be a Hannah Abbott quiz one day and it's gonna be the hardest thing ever. Right, it's, it's the hardest question from every quiz because they all have to do with Hannah Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> what is Hannah Abbott's theory about how Sirius gets into Hogwarts? Um... I don't know. Multiple choice? Sure. Let's, Let's hear it. it up. Hit it Let's up. Let's hear it. All right. The answers are, he could turn into a flowering shrub. He flew in on a winged horse. He knew a secret entrance in Hogsmeade. Peeves helped him. Do you know? No. Oh. Do you? No. No. Okay. Not. Great. Sure. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Winged Peeves. horse! Uh, the correct answer is he could turn into a flowering shrub. How sure. does that help him get in the castle, Hannah? It's a plant of mangus. You're gonna have to. <laughs> gonna have to ask Hannah Abbott. Hannah, it doesn't even make sense. That's oh my gosh, we're we're doing so bad. Burning here. You're doing so bad. I think I have got sixteen, Ben. 
This is a new low. Question 28. Which of Sirius Black's great aunts started the tradition of beheading old house elves? Oh my gosh. This is... No. Pottermore, you gotta <laughs> sprinkle these in so that like... <laughs> Which great aunt? Oh my gosh. Oh my, I have no, I have no guesses. Is this like, can we even post this video? We're so bad. <laughs> so, so poorly. Oh my gosh. Do you want some names? Yeah, yeah. let's hear the names. All right. Names. The, the answers are Violetta, Elidora, Ursula, Cedrella. Okay, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. B, Ursula. The correct answer is Sirius's great aunt, Elidora. Yeah, I got one! Dang it. <laughs> what an extreme <laughs> bummer. <laughs> I agree. The Heading House Elves. Oh, man. So just watch the Carlin Brothers guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, question 29. What were the last words Sirius spoke in the book, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? Do you know? Uh, I am... Not entirely. This is one where I actually like the movie's version better. Uh, I know that a lot, I think a lot of people don't love that. It's so in the in the movie, it's when he's dueling next to Harry, and he goes, "Nice one, James." Right. You have a guess though. I do have a guess. I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna stick with it. I think it's a, if you don't know, then it's a stab. Okay, well, maybe one of us would just be close. I don't know. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said, it's what James would have done. <laughs> the I correct said, answer is, come on, you can do better than that. Did I get a word? Oh, word? Gosh. Yes! yes! Oh, how are you? Yes! <laughs> no! Oh, this is... I made a video, I think, doing my top ten favorite moments in Harry Potter, and so many people gave me crap for that one. Uh, because that's not what he says. Because it's not what he says in the books. Right. But I like it. I always thought it was so cool because it was like Sirius just saw him as like a total like equal. Is it, he's not saying, is it? I think he's actually taunting Bellatrix. Bellatrix. Yeah. Question 30, the final question. Complete the title of Sirius Black's Christmas song. God rest ye, Mary blank. I'm pretty sure I got this one. But I've been sure before. <laughs> So sure you didn't even look at the, the I was whiteboard. I was Jordan, not Malfoy. Had good reasoning. I could read this. This video may not be our most impressive, but it might have some of our best ever quiz moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's like gosh. it's like the no look wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Calling my shot. You got it. Right. <laughs> uh, rest ye Mary. It's like pointing to the outfield and bunting to first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like pointing it's like to the outfit and striking out with a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel like this is going to like decide the score of the game. I don't even know. Are we tied? Well, how much do you have? I think I have 18. Oh, well, I think I have 17, so if you get it wrong, maybe we would tie. I feel like it's a, it's a like Harry Potter-y word, but it's not like... I feel like it's... Is it like referring to like a creature... Like some type of creature other than, other than like, friends. Like, you know, God rest ye merry friends. You're just going to guess and get it. That's what's going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't know it. This is it. The game's on the line, Ben. I really don't know. <laughs> I can't believe we got that last one. <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong. Ready? Three, two, one. Hippogriffs. <laughs> what do you say? Chaps. Chaps. God rest you, Mary Chaps. Oh. Uh, to quote Jim Dale, God rest ye, Mary Hippogriffs. Yes. I literally almost what? put hippogriffs. Oh, I'm so happy I got that right. Oh, man. man that was an embarrassing display. I think the scores are tied. Derek will know. It'll be on screen right now. On screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know how did you do in the channel section down below. Is this not the hardest one yet? Oh, it my felt like goodness. I don't even know. Like so many of them felt easy, and then others were just like impossibly just hard. I know.
Anyway. Oh my gosh! If you'd like to see more Jay versus Ben, we have an entire playlist of them right here in the middle of the screen. Feel free to check them out and see if you know Harry Potter or Disney or whatever better than us. Until next time. Bye. Bye.